Välkomna denna alla helgons dag till en stege fylld av andlig och lekamlig spis. Jo, vi ska faktiskt frossa här på marken och vi ska frossa i rymden. För historisk fraseologi ska möta framtidens fiktiva farkoster. Afrokubanska rytmer ska min sant tutta på temperamentsfull italiensk dynamit. Och inte nog med det. För allra först så beger vi oss till Främre Orientens bergigaste trakter. Och där ska vi möta den jemenitiska sånggudinnan Ofra Hasa i en glödande solnedgång. Och Hasa. 
תודה רבה, לחיים. לחיים. Yes, welcome to my ladder. Mm. Mm. Thank you very much. It's very nice having you here. You know, I was very surprised when I heard Imni Nalu, because I know you from before, when you did this sort of schlager music, actually. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly it was something very strange. What had happened? Nothing. I mean, it's me. You know me, maybe, from the Eurovision contest. I know you yes. from, yes, and from your albums in Israel, yes. which was much uh, more kind of light music, I would say. Yes, I present Israel in 1983 in the Eurovision contest mm. with a song called Chai, which means to stay alive, and it was very important for me to be in Germany and to sing We Are Still Alive. Yeah. And in 1984, I returned, when I was in Israel, I recorded the Yemenite album, especially for my parents as a present for them, yes. to please them, to keep the culture, to keep the songs. Mm. And of course, it's, this album became successful in Israel and released in 1985 in London, yeah. England, and then all over the world. Yes. What does it mean to be a Gemini girl living in Israel to you? I was born in Israel, mm. but my parents came to Israel from Yemen and they brought with them a beautiful culture and beautiful songs. And since I was a little child, I used to hear my mother all the time singing at home mm. Yemenite Jewish songs. Actually, she was a singer in Yemen, in yes. the traditional weddings and parties. But when they came to Israel, she has to raise nine children. Yeah. So she stayed at home and sang for me in the Yemenite Jewish songs. They are my roots. Yes. My heart, my soul. And the songs mean a lot to, to the Gemini Jews, don't they? Yes, of course. Uh, Imin Alu is a song which was written in the 16th century mm. by the greatest poet of the Yemeni Jews, Rabbi Shalom Shabazi. And this is a um, religious song, faith in God. Mm. The meaning is, even if the doors of the generous become locked, the doors of heaven are mm -hmm. never. It's a big hope in God that everything will be okay and we have to be strong to continue to trust God and not to give up. And the Yemenites weren't allowed to use the instruments, I know. Yes. Why? You know, they were Jewish in a Muslim country, Yemen, and they were in exile there and nobody let them to play any instruments there. Mm. So at the beginning when they sang, sang they played with the hands Mm. And later on, when they find oil, they find a silver tin, yes. they put it on the shoulder uh -huh. and play it with the fingers. So the rhythm is very important in the Yemenite songs. Why are almost all songs love songs? Not all of them. No. Not all of them. Ibn Alu is not love song. Is it, isn't it? It's a no. religious song. Yes, it but is. But they are either love songs or religious yes, songs. Yes, Galbi is... For example, in the album Shaddai, there is also a song Galbi. Mm. This is a love song. This is the first shout of the feminism, actually. Mm -hmm. It's about a young girl that wants to marry to a young boy, but her parents promised her to another guy mm. bigger than her, and she didn't want him. And she said, my, love, my heart loves freedom. Mm. Don't stop me from being free. I know in Israel that you have done movies too. You have done a comedy. One, it was a comedy, yes. Schlager. Yes. It's about, you know, comedy about Travolta and all these uh -huh. dancers and everything. And the other was uh, about a young girl, blind. Yes. And not, not comedy. And you want to go on f to do movies? Uh, actually, I have a lot of offers lately. Mm -hmm. And two of them is, are very serious. One is American production, mm. and the other is cooperation, French and British production and maybe I will do it. Ofra, you're, you're, I would say, a megastar in Israel today. Do you see yourself as an, amb an ambassador for your country? Yes, of course, mm. yes. I feel like ambassador of Israel now. Yes. You know, because people hear about Israel in the televisions, ra in radio stations, newspapers, and not all the time in the right way. And I want that people will know that Israel, a very lovely country, and to come and visit us in Israel. Yes. And we want so much the peace. And yes, and I mean, your music is heard all over the Middle East, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. I mean, I have letters from Egypt, Tunis, Morocco, Kuwait, all the Arabian countries. Yes. And they love my music very much. What could your music mean to them, you? I mean, in a, 
in a broader sense, not only only the music that they hear and an Israeli singer. I mean, they are, um, most of the countries saying that I'm singer from Yemen, yes. not from Israel. But I am from Israel and they love my music and it is one step more mm -hmm. for me. But how did your old fans react when they heard you being named as the Yemenite dancing queen and singing a medieval song that was turned disco? What did they really think about it? They are very proud. They are mm. very, very proud because they understand as me that um, when I did Imlin Alou, a disco version from the Yemenite album, they realized that it's a good opportunity to bring this music to the youngest that maybe will not understand, will not love the traditional album, mm. but they will love this music through the legs, through the discotheques, and for me it was very important. Thank you. But before we finish, yes, let yes, me, I have yes. a surprise for you. You have a surprise? Yes. I mean, I know you many, many years, and I <laughs> no, have your no, book, you and I have a palm for you. No, so no, 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 sign no, for me? you must do that. No, yes. I haven't got a pen. I signed Somebody it has a there. pen here? I, I, does someone has a pen? <laughs> Nobody <laughs> has a pen. couldn't do that. Oh, Thank you. I said oh, to Ofra yes. with lots of love. <laughs> oh, you, you shouldn't Thank do you. this on, on Swedish TV. And this is my ladder and you're the star. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We'll put Thank it here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Lechaim. Lechaim again. The stage is yours. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
Thank you. 